Hi, this is Power. I'm uh, making another video for uh, Silverhawk for Minecraft. And uh, this is going to be the uh, Nether Protocol part two of three. So if we can recall, this was uh, part one of three for the Nether Protocol with the uh, Nether uh, with, with the Fortress. All right, and now we're going to part two. All right, so uh, the nether is the most dangerous section of the game. So because of that, it's important to identify objectives so that you can remain in the nether for as short uh, as possible. Do not stay in the nether uh, longer than necessary. So let's identify the objectives. So for your first visit, yeah, there's going to be a second visit. We will see why. For your first visit, well, of course you're gonna you're you're gonna build uh, the fortress and have a piece of gold armor, but also the objectives, specific objectives, would be to get approximately sixty glowstones. Now these they grow um, on the roof of the nether. You can see them uh, pretty much everywhere. So I recommend you get about 60 glowstones. They, when you break them, it makes like a, a noise like uh, breaking glass. So you get about 60 of those. All right. <clears throat> Next objectives. It's to find a nether fortress. And once you're in the, inside the nether fortress, you get 16 nether wards, 16 soul sands, and 3 or 4 blaze rods. The blaze rods are obtained by killing blaze. Okay, so remember this is for the first visit. Okay, the next visit uh, is going to be uh, in, another, in another video. So, find the nether fortress and get these. Now, uh, the soul sand, it can be found uh, outside the nether fortress. You can find it, you can pick up these inside or outside. Uh, inside, they're very easy to find because the nether warts, they grow on soul sand. So, whichever way you want, you can get the soul sand inside the fortress or outside. All right. So the rest of this video is going to be about finding the nether fortress, how to find it. All right. So this is north, east, south, and west, of course. And this, this is uh, your, uh, your fortress that you built in part one. Remember, remember that? So this is your fortress here. So what you're going to do after exiting your fortress is you're going to go east or west at your choice. Not north, not south. You go east or west. That's why here, you re remember, there was a, you had a door on the east and a door to the west. You did not have doors on this, these sides. That's why, okay? So you're going to choose to go east or west. If you go east, your X coordinates are going to go up. If you go west, your X coordinates are going to go down. So personally, I prefer to go east and have the X coordinates go up. That's a personal choice. So you exit and you move east, you move east, you move east. And at regular intervals, you're going to drop a torch. Uh, I would recommend maybe every 15 to 20 um, tiles, you drop a torch. So you make a little trail. Blah, 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 blah. And after traversing about 150 uh, tiles from your fortress, <clears throat> you're going to make another fortress. But this time it's going to be a small one, a very small one. So like this, but very small, just enough to fit you inside, 
let's say uh, in the inside room is uh, three tiles by three tiles. So you make a very small fortress with the, uh, the exits like this and the little tunnel. So that's for your safety. So we're gonna make a, a nether fortress, but very small, okay? And here are the nether fortresses. Now, as you can see, the nether fortresses, they spawn in the north-south direction. And once you find one, if you go north or you go south, you're gonna find more, okay? And they are not evenly spaced. So sometimes you have a large space, sometimes you have a very small space between the, the next. And as I said, they spawn north and south, north and south. So that's why you need to go east or west to find the, the fortresses. Now, um, the average distance between two rows of nether fortresses is 400 tiles, 400. Sometimes if you're not lucky, you will not find the fortress even if you go, uh, for example, if your starting fortress would be here and you go east, you might miss the fortress because there's a large gap sometimes. So it's all based on luck. And if you don't find one, you keep going east. Or you can go back to your fortress here and then go west. As you can see in this case, it would be much closer. It would be much closer than, than this. All right. So you don't know. You don't know. So it's uh, it's random. So you decide to go east or you go west. And if you go west, of course, after about uh, 150 tiles, 150 tiles, you build a very small fortress. And then you find the, the nether fortress and you're happy. <laughs> so, all right. So this is going to be, uh, th this was the uh, nether protocol, part two of three. Remember, identify objectives, get approximately 60 glowstones, find an nether fortress using this method. And inside the fortress, you're going to need to get 16 nether warts, 16 soul sands, and three to four blaze rods. And this is for the first visit. All right. So uh, this was the, the video. <clears throat> I will see you... Uh, on part three of the Nether Protocol. See ya!